Hey guys, it's M4J here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Now, last time out, we started consolidating as well as extending our little freight operations over here to Seaford. Uh, now, sort of working out, kind of working out, things are uh, happening. Um, one thing I'm really confused about is over here, <clears throat> excuse me, over here at Luton, I set up this um, stone quarry uh yeah quarry uh a line between the quarry here and the um freight terminal and i set it up to only pick up stone yeah 100 percent. that's all fine and then here unload everything especially stone that's all fine and the idea being that trucks would take stone down here to the freight terminal where it would then be picked up by the uh minerals train which is one of these ones, and I believe uh, I did set this up correctly. Yeah, stone and grain, and I'm also gonna. Uh, I was gonna select. Oh yeah, this slag. Let's select slag and also bump that up to 100%. So it's just gonna pick up whatever's available, essentially, and take it over to um, Seaford. Now, for some reason stone's not being picked up despite the fact you can see the train can carry stone now one thing maybe i forgot to do at so that could unload anything at gravesend and then at, at seaford can also unload anything so it's nothing to do with that i am confused as to why stone's not being picked up but i also want to do a complete rebuild of some of these freight terminals um, mainly the roadside. The rail side is fine. It's the roadside that annoys me. And I kind of want to base it off this. This is the design I've come up with for um, Luton's steel mill. I've done something similar down at Holsworthy. So effectively you've got unload on these side streets here. And the vehicle can just come in, drop off its load and leave. And in this case we've got two lots of iron ore, two lots of coal. Uh, you'll have to excuse me if I repeat myself slightly here because I can't remember what I did and didn't do on camera. But uh, effectively, sorry, I've got another coal mine over here linked up and I've got this iron ore mine here linked up as well. Just so we've got a constant supply of iron ore and coal coming into this steel mill. It's actually coal that we're mostly short on but hopefully it will balance itself out over time. I've also got this new one-way system here so vehicles come up and over the bridge here down into the unload this one i think is for coal yep the other one is for iron ore and then they come back out here and head off on their respective journeys i will eventually have slag picked up from here as well <clears throat> and we'll uh, we'll increase the size of this uh, and add a third uh road berth whatever you want to call it on that side of things and that'll be responsible for that i like this design i liked this design so much that i went down to holesworthy and did the same thing now yes i had a feeling this was going to happen um i've got the uh, the backlog now for a different reason not quite sure why i suppose i've got it set to full load and that might be why uh are these all goods vehicles no they're not in that case i might try and um upgrade to six lane yeah i didn't think it would let me that's annoying i might rebuild this as well then uh over this side of the the street uh let me just get some money in we've also got our first loads here so this is the luton to seaford one i think uh, sorry luton to holsworthy which is running full uh but this is the one i'm looking forward to look at this it's got 200 out of 200 for plastic you think we've got all this plastic um that needs to go here and also down to here we're going to be swimming in goods at this point we've got a goods factory there we've got a goods factory there uh once the plastic is delivered but there we go got some money in now for now i need to quickly demolish this rebuild it on the other side of the road uh none on the left one on the right sure and we'll pop you down like that. Any second now, this is going to tick over. Come on, auto save. All this time I've been sat here and it's not wanting to auto save, and now it does. How annoying. 
Um, and then, yeah, we'll re reset this for... There we go. And have you transferred over? Yes, you have. So we've got goods, plastic, steel. So the plastic and the steel can still be dropped off on this side of the road, which is what I'm going to do now. So let's go one-way street. Um, I believe there's a way. If I drag you out like this... I believe there's a way. Is it that? Yeah, there we go. Where you can actually make it go the other way. You just right click on it with the um, upgrade tool. Uh, and that's not what I want to do. I want, actually want it to go like this. Like that. And then here. I want this to come out to, let's say, here. And then I want you to go that way. And then I want you to come this way. There we are. And then we want two unload stops. One there, one there. You can see they're both served by... Uh, they both serve the goods factory here. And the goods line will keep. But the plastic line here, we want it to go to... This one. And we'll say unload all. Yep, that's fine. And then this one here, the steel line... We'll have you go here and again unload all good for me okie dokie uh we could probably do the same thing down in this end of things but right now is there a reason to do it probably not we'll see how this goes actually because it might be necessary um yeah this being the size that it is as well is also probably not necessary but hey ho and then this doesn't need traffic lights. That's really loud in my ears. It's probably really loud in your ears as well. Why are they so loud suddenly? I don't know. We'll turn off these traffic lights as well. Why not? There we go. So this train here, and I think that's the line to Luton, isn't it? Just diverging off there. It's a long journey. It's a long old journey from Gravesend to Holsworthy. So hopefully these trains do pay out quite a lot of money. We will see. But this is the design I wanted to show you guys. So you can see how the uh, the deliveries are made and things like that. Now, over at Luton, um, we still need a presence on this side for the forest. But ultimately, we can link up now the rail, the road, and the water. If I remove this quickly, I don't think we're using it for anything, are we? No. So we'll remove this quickly. Uh, and I will rebuild this. But bigger. We're going to plan it out. So we want the um, the loaders. I kind of want to rebuild this as well. While I'm here. Might need to pause the game again for this. It's a risky maneuver. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for a little bit more money to come in. We were at negative 10 million, I think, when I loaded the game up. So, um... You can see why I'm uh, I'm a bit cautious about doing this. I keep feeling like I'm bankrupt in the company every time I make a decision. Uh, that wasn't much money at all. But we are loading up on everything here. Do we need steel? Yeah, we do need steel, don't we? Steel planks. Do we need goods to hold? I suppose you do go down to Holdsworthy itself as well, don't you? So, yes. I guess we do need that too. Uh, where is this train? Is it that one there? Train 4. Yes, it is. So it's it's slowly but surely coming along. There's a freight train running in the opposite direction. But this is the missing link, actually. This is what we've been missing all this time from over here, is plastic. We've had no plastic production. Um, because the trains, unknowingly, I upgraded to trains that didn't carry plastic anymore. That's, that was the uh, the expensive mistake. And one of the reasons why we were losing so much money, actually, was, was partially because of that, but also because of the uh, the fact that the um, steel mill at Luton was no longer connected to our stop. Which is very frustrating. Um, but yeah, we're fixing that slowly but surely. Hopefully this train... I'm going to put it on times three for a sec. I will get back to the building in a second as well, don't worry. But um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to put this on normal speed. For a little bit just while I do this um, construction work over here and then we'll get this connected maybe I don't know I keep questioning myself and that's never a good thing if I was to demolish all of this and keep 
I don't know if I can actually keep a bit there. Let's just try and build on this side. No, see, it's not letting me. Hmm. I don't know then how I'm going to move this uh, freight unless I rebuild this entire station, which is an option, I suppose. It's just not what I wanted to do. But I think I'm going to have to do it if I want this to work. Again, this could turn into a very expensive mistake. Cargo station. We want eight platforms. 240 meters, I believe this is. I'm saying collision. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, standard track is fine. Overhead wires, no thank you. Oh, hello. Come on. Just snap where I want you, please. Oh, I had it then. There. There. Perfect. Right. Is this still loot and freight terminal? Yes. Does it still have the lines going into the right spots? No. But that's fine. We can fix that now. So, manage line. Loot and freight terminal. We'll come in on, say, two. Going out. And... Four coming back. Should we say... Yeah, do you actually go? Yeah, you go to Luton actually. So let's come in on like six, and then when you go back, you're coming on eight. There we go. And then this side, uh, minerals and grain, which terminates here. I guess one is fine for that one. And then this one, uh, I guess you can come in on two for now, or three, because I misclicked. There you go. You come in on three now. Problem solved. Uh, right, so we're going to need to do a little bit of landscaping here again. Can't remember how to do this. It's something like this, isn't it? Just click and drag. Or do you right click first and then click and drag? Something like that. Not, not my finest work, this. Get the old smooth out. There we go. So yeah, already you can see... Uh, that I'm a little bit clueless with what I'm doing here, but I want a four track, a uh, four, four track, four lane road running along here. Actually, do I want this as a six lane road? I might have this as a six lane road just so it's preemptively upgraded like this. Now the port I think is just going to connect on this side, so I can rebuild that. Now, are you connected? You're not. Is there a way to elevate? There is not. Okay, so you might have to be slightly lower down. Uh, large. Can we go for two? In fact, can we go for four? And have it like it was before. See, it takes up a lot of the water. So what I'd be tempted to do is build it like this. And have it connect up like that. I don't know if the road would then... Uh, d sorry, I don't know if the railway would then be connected to it or not. I don't know. I just don't know. So I'm going to do it like this and hope that boats can go around it. Um, and then along the bottom here, I'm going to do this. And then hopefully this can come around like that. There we are. And then same on this side. He says, where's the... Hang on. It's there. That's why I couldn't find it. There we go. Now, if I select this... Yeah, the port is also brilliant. Good stuff. Right. So, now we need the loading and unloading... Um, of these. Now, in theory... I could just use these roads here as a guide and have it come off of these roads. So if I, and I've just built these, but if I take these back again. So if we go down to that level, which I think is about there. Uh, and I want this as big as it can be, which is already going to throw some spanners into the works 
So we'll have to get out the old... Um, I have to reduce the brush size for this. Yeah, definitely not. And we've got auto save as well. Clicking in. Brilliant. So we've got this bit. Can I rotate this? No, just bigger and smaller. Come on, auto save. There we go. So if I level all this. Uh, now it doesn't have to come right out into the water. It can have a little bit of space. I'm going to get it maybe out to like here. This seems like a good spot. And I'm gonna, obviously going to build the uh, the truck stop and then do the landscaping because I think that would be a better way of doing it. So yeah, we'll build it. Actually, this is more than enough space for what I need. Um, we'll do it like this and then we'll do a similar thing on this side. So obviously we'll spin around uh, like so and then obviously we'll get this out again. Level all this. And you can already see the kind of idea I'm going for. We're splitting it into like a, a north and south. Um, right now, I don't think there's going to be anything specific to loading or unloading. I think they're just going to all be for whatever. Um, but you never know. That might change in the future. I'll keep an eye on that one. This should be enough. Oops. Three. There we go. And then again, we'll give it just enough space. I think that. Uh, and then we'll go back into streets. And I think we just need four lane roads here. And we've got a bit of a um, an issue here. Um, can I fix this? Alright, let's do another little bit of rejigging here. Get rid of that. Over here. Get rid of that. It's to do with the height here. So I could actually get around this by... Uh, where's the six lane? There's the six lane. So if I do something like this, and then bring this down... And then do the same thing on this side. Like that. So it's still connected, but it's like a humpback. Uh, and then a four lane here. And we'll bring you out. Oh, you can be level now. Uh, I did not mean to confirm that. I guess to here like this. And then this side, same thing. Sloping down a little bit, but it's fine. Okay. Loot and halt. Uh, so we need a one-way system here. Already we've got some... Actually, do we need one there? No, we don't. We don't. It's here, here, and here. And then, obviously, extend these out as far as it will let me. There we go. Now, eventually, we will extend out into the water. But for now, we're not. Pretty sure that's unnecessary extensions building out into the water. And then these are the ways in. Which it's not actually letting me do because of the water. Try that. No. Seriously? Come on. Is it actually not going to... Oh, again. doesn't need to be there, does it? I'm an idiot. I am a goof. Okie dokie. And now we can go one-way streets. And it should... That one's a bit derpy. But these should all now let me connect up. And technically, these ones here can be one-way streets. To, uh, really? Hang on. Now we've got a proof of concept. I don't need to be too um, 
picky about this. We can go like that, and then you can just come out like that. You are obviously going to be swapped around. You're going to come out like this. You're going to come out like this. This one over here is going to be slightly different. This is going to be, for now at least, a three-lane road. Like this. Uh, we need to do the entrances here. So, was it one there, one there, one there. Extend these out as far as they'll go. Oh, we've run out of money. Let's fix that problem. Ay, ay, ay. That's not what I was hoping for. Ah. Yeah, problem. Hang on. I'm going to use the loan for this because um, this right now isn't going to connect up and earn any money. So, yeah, we'll end up with a huge money loss, which I don't want. So I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way for a second. Here we go. And then street access. It's that one, is it not? Yep. There we go. And then we grab these. We're going to build a street probably over here. Sort the rest of that out in a second. You there. You there. You there. Now, obviously, this is going to connect up to that, which is one of... I, mm, this, I think, needs to be a four... four-laner. Because it connects up to this. Like... Oh, not like that. Like this. And then you connect up like that. So that's fine. And then this... We'll connect up and round. He doesn't even need to do this. I suppose it can just go like this. Like that. Now, here's a question. Is that connected to that? No. Also, that's not connected to that. So, we'll have to change that in a second. Uh, can I do that now? Actually, if I grab you. Yeah, that works. Bit derpy looking, but it works. So you connect to that. That's not connected up yet, but it will be now. Because I'm going to do this. Like that. Now I think this one can just be downgraded like that. Oops, and then this one can be downgraded again. So you can see how the natural progression goes as it goes down. Now, it doesn't work. That's not what I wanted to see. Something tells me it's because of how long this loop is here. So if I redraw this... Yes, game, I'm aware of that. If you let me... If I do it this way, actually. So if I just grab you and immediately draw you around. How weird, by the way, that that's how it works. I don't know. You next. Then you. Right. Now does it work? No. Okay. New plan. We're going to spin this one round. So it's actually just going to be a copy of this one over here. Now this one also might not work now. So let me just check this. Because if this one doesn't work, then obviously no point continuing. Also, should we just make this six lane? Make that one six lane too. And this one. All the way into Luton. Construction not possible. That's interesting. Okay. Um... But yeah, you're going to just... I mean, it doesn't even have to be a straight line. Just do it like this. So I can do it out like that. 
spin it round, and then you, like that, you, like that. Now again, does this connect? This one does, but not to that, but that could be changed by this. That's fine. So if I now do this, oh, that's because not that's not connected up yet. That should change. That should then connect, and then we'll be uh, on the right road with that one too. Come on, auto save. There we go. And yes, look, see it connects. Brilliant. So just need to build one this way round, I guess. So pointing. I think I don't actually know how it works. That's the thing. I don't know why this one wasn't working. Maybe it's just the shape of this. I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I suppose what I could do for simplicity's sake here is build this just straight along like this. Yeah. And then... Um, Put this back as what it was. And that one. You can then just come down and connect up like this. Too much slope. And that is a lot of slope, to be fair. What if I, like, kept it elevated? Whoops. And then brought it down. Uh, let's just do, I don't know, this for a second. Now, why does that look so weird? I guess because it wasn't straight. And then if I did something like this, I realise that I'm spending all the money again. But um, hopefully now... going to work now? Yeah, but that's weird as well. So I think I might just do it like this. Bring it up a little bit still. And then from there, you're going to connect in. Ugh. So I wish I had move it in this game. There we go. And connect. Cool. So... I uh, okay, new plan, brand new plan. I'm going to extend this, and this is going to be like our loading one, and then the other side is just going to be unloading. If it lets me do it, of course. It's so annoying sometimes. I don't know why it's being funny. This game does some weird things. I think it's 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 like um Planet Coaster in that regard. When you place something down, it's very particular about what the land was like around it, so you can't change it too much. That's all I can think of as the reason as to why it doesn't always work. Um, I'm probably talking absolute gibberish right now as well. That's what happens when I try and talk and build at the same time. Right. If I go... Like this. There you go. Give me a configure button, please. So, if I can get six on here. Four, five. Perfect. Now... Gonna have to obviously extend this out a little bit more. There we go. That's where it gets expensive. If I just extend this out as far as it will go, and that should be. Obviously, if this one works, the rest will. There we go. There we go. Now the uh, entrance to this is going to be different now. 
but the exit should still be the same. We should be able to just do a single road. I might do a two-way road just in case there are some left turns out of here in future. Uh, we can get rid of that one. And then we do street access. So these are all... Whoops. These are all the exits. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's all of them. Yep, that's fine. Entrances. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So yeah, I think for this to make it different now, if I go one-way streets, three-lane tarmac. Uh, so this one here, if I come in and bend it around... Like this, and then you're going to connect to that one. You're going to connect to... Oh, hang on. Do the middle one first. Now I should be able to do this one. There we go. And now I should be able to do this one. Oh, come on, really? Hang on, you let me do this. There. And then if I just join all of these up. I think I'm going to draw you out like this. And then draw you down. And then draw you in. Somewhere is the snapping point for this. No. It must be this one. Yeah. And then all of these are going to join. And hopefully this is still connected and working. Hopefully. Yeah, see, it's, is, is it? No, it's not. See, now it doesn't connect. Is it too far away now? Or these still connect? It, the only thing I can think of is it's this. Oh, man alive. It must be the entrance is too far away if I build it there. So I, I like the design. I just don't like the fact that it doesn't connect. So we don't need it to be that far away, do we? I can build it like here. Like that. Hopefully this still works. One, two, three. Street access. That's the wrong one. Entrance, 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 entrance. Uh, exit, sorry. I can't even speak English language now. It's lovely that, isn't it? So all of these should join together. He says, connecting the wrong sodding one up. Um, I mean, this one, I could just build it out straight. Onto this road. And then have it decide from there where it's going. Now, the port is highlighted now. Does that mean you're connected to everything again? Yes. Okay. Interesting. So maybe it was the exit that was the issue. Oh, really? I'm actually going to lose my uh, my mind in a minute. And this is probably not going to do anything now. Construction not possible. For goodness sake. Every time I get one bit right, I mess up something else. So annoying. So let's do this. You can see that's connected. That works. I need to bring it away a little bit. There. You better sodding work. This isn't even what I actually wanted to do today. <laughs> I was going to do more consolidating. Do you know what? If I can add a seventh one here as well, I might as well do it. 
I was going to do some more consolidating work today. That's what I was actually here for. Um, I was going to focus on passenger stuff. But because these terminals were so messy, I thought I'll fix those first. That won't take too long. Ah, yeah. And this right now is just the loading side. The unloading side is going to be, like, really easy to do. No sweat there. Hopefully. I'm just going to do the system that I've got up at the steel mill. And just use streets. One-way streets with unloading only. I could use two-way streets, actually, and have one in each direction unloading. And double the capacity. That could work. Maybe I'll try that. Right now, though, obviously, priority is just getting this all connected up and functional. Right. Remove you. Street access. It's this one. I think. Yes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now, hopefully, you come out like that, and then it should just be a case of joining these up. Now that port, yeah, there we go. I was about to say that port's not illuminated, but it is now, which means the railway should be illuminated as well, which means this should now be functional. And again, they've got the choice when they come out here, left or right, and then when they get to there, obviously left or right as well. Fantastic. Although, I could in theory make this one way, but then that might disconnect things, so I'm not going to do that. Because that's just going to overcomplicate everything. Now, one more check quickly. Yes, good. Configure. Entrances. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Why can't is it because of these? Oh my god, it's actually because of that, isn't it? Okay. So, can I run this? So it's not going to let me do that because of the way the water is. But I bet you this isn't going to work either. Maybe it is. There's still small collision. There we go. Okay. Now if I can connect these up. Not connected. Not connected. Not connected. Is it actually broken again? Oh, my God. That's so frustrating. I am actually stuck now as to what to suggest. Uh, that's, that's actually the most annoying thing about this. Just this gaming as a whole is trying to connect these up. Some of them are just so frustrating. I suppose... Okay, one more... One more compromise. Again, it could just be the order things have been built in. It could just be that. So if I now come in and place these entrances. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Now, what I could do... First of all, we'll build these back how they were. Seriously? Seriously? Okay, hang on. That works. And that's connected again. Good. Right, this one here can just be a uh, a one -er. That's fine. Still connected. Good stuff. 
come off here again. Now, that one doesn't need to come off there. That one, this one can come off here. And then we'll go this one. Station still highlighted. Wrong one. Middle one first. Then this one. Then this one. There we go. We'll remove the traffic line in a second. And then this one here <coughs> can come around like this. And again, we'll do the uh, middle one first. Then we'll do this one. And then this one should be a case of... Not ballsing this up. Seriously? I mean, I don't, why, why am I building this so weirdly? I could just... Bring it out like that. Then bring it round. Like this. And then connect them up. So you out of the middle. That's fine. That one we'll come back to. That one we can do now. That's fine. And then this one. It's going to be a bit wavy. But it is going to work. This last one here, it could just have a dedicated lane. It could just come out of this one. I don't know. Um, we'll f cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, it doesn't need to be connected. My other solution over here, by the way, was to just take these off and have them all run down this bit and connect up. If that was what was needed, then that's what I would do. Add some waypoints in for the ones that aren't the main. In fact, we'll add waypoints in for all of them. Screw it. There we go. Right, this is now connected. For now, because it's connected, I'm going to reroute all of these lines over to here and just have it be one big thing. So you don't go to Luton Freight Terminal anymore. You go here, which is going to be renamed Luton Freight Terminal. Don't worry. Full load, and you're loading up on coal. There we go. Now we can get rid of Luton Freight Terminal. Uh, but before you come into, so like on the way back here, I guess you're going to run via that waypoint because that's the one you're running into. Brilliant. Again, just check. It is still connected. Good. Right. Iron ore next. We'll have you go into number six. Obviously here, we're going to have you go there. You're going to connect, uh, sorry, collect. Iron ore. What's this waypoint? I don't actually know what that one is. Oh, it's that one. Do we need that one? For this? Maybe. I'm just wondering why I've got two orange lines here. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we can remove you now. Oh, there we go. Full load all. And you're set to iron ore, I believe. This way, I might just have it. Eh, actually, no. I will change those. Hang on. So you don't need, need to go there or there anymore. And likewise, uh, you don't need to go there or there anymore. Uh, no. Nope. Planks. Actually, no, not planks. Anything else that loads from here? Yeah, Luton, uh, Hatfield Wood. Now, that's going to stay up here. That's going to remain. It'll be shifted slightly, but it's going to remain uh, as is. You now. Um, actually, before we do that, you're going to come in there. There. Now, you can actually see the way the exit works. It's already going the way I wanted it to. So, I guess this is all needless. Hopefully, we can remove that and have the station still be connected. I don't even know if I want to risk that right now, to be honest. But, whatever. You can tell I'm past the point of caring now, can't you? That's <laughs> just, uh, whatever. Right, manage the line. 
So after this one, it's going to go here, here. And like that one comes out there, actually. That's interesting. Um, remove loot and freight terminal there. You're just going to be unload everything. And then there was final one, which is the stone. Uh, which is there and there. Now, fortunately, it looks like we don't actually need to... Um, to change any... Uh, to add anything else or an unloading. If we do add unloading, it'll be over here and it'll just be one-way streets and that'll be how that all works. How does this look? So they actually come up to here and cross over and go that way. So this bridge might end up being redundant as well. I am going to upgrade this here as well to six lane. I knew autosave was going to kick in again as soon as I did that. Is it top speed of 60 as well? Perfect. Brilliant. Come on. Damn autosave. Here we go. Oh, smack the microphone. Sorry. Headphone users beware. I'm just going to rebuild this. It's interesting that it doesn't let me... I guess because of the way that was. I guess. It's a weird reason, but... There you go. That does seem to have connected up and be working. Traffic lights there will keep them sure. These ones over here. Now, this waypoint... Yeah, nothing passes through there now. The final thing to do is rename this like Luton Forest or something. And then you are going to be Luton Freight Terminal. Uh, and then is it T for truck? So your R. So I guess, yeah, your T. Sure. Uh, you are still connected up, right? Yep, good. Your loot and port, you're fine. And then, yeah, this, we can just bulldoze and rebuild as the right size. So if I now do... Uh, what do we want? One on that side. And we'll just build you here. I mean, I could just stick you at the end here, but you wouldn't be connected. Although I could fix that. Like, where's the... There's the actual industry. So I could just do it there. Or... Up here. I don't know why I'm holding shift for this. There. And you should now be Luton Forest. But you're not. I guess you're too far away. Uh, wrong thing. Manage line. You don't go there anymore. You go here. Where you're going to load up on wood. Don't need to worry about unloading. Get rid of that. Are you not connected? Oh, you are connected, aren't you? Yeah. Hang on. Something's not right. Uh, oh, you're not connected. What happened here? Oh, I did the wrong one. Loot and annex, and then you come down here, and you drop off there. Perfect. So you're going to full load on wood. You're going to unload everything, and yeah, full load all. Okay. Okay. That should now function as intended. You're connected to that. Uh, all of this here is just going to get chopped back. There we go. This road here could probably be downgraded again to just a two lane. There we are. And if I hit play now, 
I guess this all... Oh, man, that's the jankiest looking thing I've ever built. It needs must and all that. Um, I could as well do this. Are you still connected, though? No. Yeah, I knew that was stupid. Why did I do that? Okay. Now you're still connected. Good. Do you have anything waiting? You do not. Okay, that shouldn't be an issue. Trains can access this, right? Should be able to. Nothing complaining there. Got trucks turning around and doing all sorts now. Are you full or are you empty? You're currently empty. Actually, you're all empty. Why are you all empty? Oh, we're really struggling to get grain. Huh. It's an interesting issue there. That's something for future me to work on, I think. So we got these vehicles coming down. That's fine. Um, I could, if I save quickly, because if this goes wrong, uh, again, you can see how many branches of um, save file I've added here. Also, I love how this is really struggling to get up this hill now. Fantastic. Loving the realism. My phone is pinging left, right, and center. I am supposed to be watching the football in a second, so I am going to wrap up this episode shortly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to attempt to cut these off. See, there now it's no longer connected, but if I come through and remove these as well... Uh, that's interesting. Oh, that's messed things up over here. That's why. Um. Interesting. If I was to remove these now, I'm going to guess... Huh. I mean, this could be salvageable still. But I'm actually just going to reload the game. And not have that be an issue to worry about. Um, so yeah, while the uh, the video at uh, the video while the game is reloading here, I am going to start wrapping up the um, episode. Give me just one second. There we go. So I am going to start wrapping up the episode. Um, I'm clicking and pressing all wrong things and buttons and God knows what right now. Hopefully this all works. Uh, obviously it needs testing and stress testing and things like that. Um. But yeah, it's 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 trial and error. It's trial and error. That's what this is all about. Trial and error. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then we'll find a way to make it work. Now, the, the thing that I don't like about this game is the way that industries and, and stations can be cut off from one another just by upgrading or downgrading roads. That, to me, feels very counterintuitive to what the whole modular system was supposed to be. So... You may remember when this game was announced, um, the modular system was, you know, you build a station and you expand it over time. But if by doing so, you ruin your connection to an industry, which also expands over time, um, you can't future-proof things. And then you're constantly rebuilding stations as well, which kind of feels the opposite of what we were told, which was you don't have to keep rebuilding things. Once you've built it once, you can expand on it. Um, it kind of feels like they've half implemented it and not really fully sussed it out. Hopefully, maybe an update in the future can fix that. Uh, I know they're working on the big update right now, which adds more tycoon -y features to the game. That could be part of that. Who knows? The multiple platforms thing is still going to be great. Very much looking forward to that. Um, but it remains to be seen just how well this ends up all working. Um, in terms of, I mean, I've, you know, I've already said I don't, I, I'm not a huge fan of the way stations connect to one another. Uh, in principle, it works fine, but I liked the idea that uh, Cities in Motion 2 had, where you have this like sphere of influence around a station, and anything built within that station, uh, sorry, within that sphere, passengers will switch between lines. You can see that it kind of has that here, but like for an industry to, to be connected to a station, it almost has to touch it. Um, or, you know, there is a, a circle of influence around it, but it's not a huge one. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think if you can make that sphere bigger, 
then that would be good. But I think right now it just feels a little too small for my liking. But anyway, I'm moaning a lot. I'm kind of killing time whilst this game loads. Because last episode ended on a load screen like this as well. And I didn't want this one to. Uh, you can see how this is working now anyway. Off camera, I'm going to go rebuild Seaford uh, to match. Uh, I would have done that now. But it's going to be a pain in the ass. So I'm going to do it off camera. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Connecting this one up here, I think I might just build a little offshoot here and have it come around and maybe have this be like the unloading one and have all the other ones be loading only. I don't know. And to fix the other problem I've got here, I could just build waypoints to get the uh, the vehicles to come out how I want. I'm looking at some of these as well to see how I can have these make money. Now, I don't know why the minerals one is losing so much money right now. Uh, that's not what I wanted to click. So where are you? You're up at Seaford. Yeah, you've got nothing on board, so that's part of the problem. If we could get stone to actually be brought down here, I do not understand why we don't have stone. It's the same reason I couldn't understand why we could we didn't have slag. Now, I could just build a dedicated train for that, shuttle it backwards and forwards, but I wanted it to bring something back, and right now it's it's not doing that. Mind you, seafood is it is construction materials, isn't it? Um, do we have a train for that? I feel like we do. Is that what the Seaford to Holsworthy one was for? I guess it was, because it stops at Chipping Norton. And I'm pretty sure Chipping Norton accepts, um, construction materials. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's what that one was for. Also, the amount of food now. I was checking the food trains just now. They are all running full. They're not anymore, but they were. I think they started dropping off as I was um, recording this video. But yeah, I am going to start wrapping this up now. Um, you can see the, the stream of trucks coming down. And they are all going to their respective terminals here, which is fantastic to see. Very, very happy to see that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave the game running. Hopefully, we continue to make money. Um, and pay off this gigantic loan again that I took out, which wasn't ideal at all, but needs must and all that. Necessary evil. I think we're about to arrive here, so I just want to see how much money this makes quickly. Because hopefully, I mean, this is 200 and it's come a long way, so this should be a lot of money right now. 12 million. Oh my goodness. Well, first of all, I'm going to repay as much of this as possible. I, th I had a feeling it was going to be like 3, 4 million, something like that. I did not think it was going to be that high. That is crazy. So this is going to fill up fast. Uh, which makes me think... What the hell's happening here? Oh, it's um, goods vehicles. That's part of the problem. Uh, can I... How many? 20. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. They will work themselves out. It's just frustrating. Because we've got all this plastic now waiting to be transported. Uh, I mean, I, the way I could fix this... Sorry, I will wrap up in a second, I promise. Um, the way I could fix this is just go load if available. For now. Because obviously, eventually, it will end up having loads. Same with this side. Uh, we'll just switch it to load if available. So they will run empty for some of the time. But, you know, we've got planks now. We've got steel. We've got plastic. We've got everything we need for these to actually start pumping out um, goods. And this is going to be our proper little um, area now for all of this. Fantastic. Okay then, folks. That will do for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series so far, drop those comments down below. Let me know uh, what ideas you have for future episodes. I'm going to go keep an eye on things at Luton. And, as, as I said, rebuild Seaford as well. Um, oh, yeah. Subscribe to the channel. I always forget that one now. I don't know why. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for continued support. I can't click that for some reason. And, yeah. Have a good rest of your week, and until next time, I will see you soon.